Good afternoon, if you are just joining us. We are Upper West Side Kenshi Kai at home. We are gonna be doing a kids karate class for ages five and up in just a little over two minutes. So start to make sure you have a safe, open space in your apartment and you can just start stretching out and we will begin shortly. Again, welcome to Upper West Side Kenji Kai at home. This is Kids Karate for ages five and up. We're starting in a little over one minute. You'll see that countdown right on your screen. That's when we're gonna get started. Hey B, nice to see you today. Um, anyone else who is joining us today, feel free to type your name into the comments and I will say hi to you. But thank you for joining us. Again, we're going to start in just about one minute. Stretch yourself out a little bit. And of course, make sure you have enough space. <laughs> All right. Hello, Helena. Good to see you. Hi, Izzer and Sion. Good to see you guys, too. All right. Let's get ourselves going. I'm just going to turn the camera around. Again, if you are just joining us, this is Upper West Side Kenshikai Karate. Woo, I bet that made everyone super dizzy. This is Upper West Side Kenshikai Karate at home. We are doing a kids karate class today for ages five and up. So anywhere in that age range, this is the right class for you. All right, so we're gonna start down on the floor today as soon as I get my camera set up on a good angle for you guys so we can all come down on the floor together. All right, so I'm in a different room in my house today, so we're gonna see how this works. But we're all gonna start on our knees in our seiza position. So let me just tilt this up a little bit. There we go. So we're all sitting on our knees our hands are gonna go on our waist like always. Our feet are tucked under our bottom. We're gonna close our eyes all together, Muxo. Muxo yame, open your eyes. Bow, say, us. All right, so we're starting down on the floor today so we can do some stretches all together. So we're all gonna start by having one knee bent like this. We're gonna have our other legs super straight, sticking out to the side. And we're gonna reach toward that extended leg. So we're gonna grab our toe, Going to reach our hand over our head. I think I had pointed this out in an earlier class this week. You can either stretch over your head or you can face your toe. I'm going to go over my head. You can do either one. Now we're just going to hold for five, four, three, two, one. Keep your legs right where they are. We're going to sit up and twist and look over our shoulder. Itch, knee, sun, she, go. And switch to the other side so my other leg is straight. This knee is bent. I'm reaching toward my toe. Itch, knee, sun, she, go. Leave your legs right where they are. Twist and look over your shoulder. Itch, knee, sun, she, go. Open both legs nice and wide. You're going to reach your hands down toward the middle just as far as you can go with keeping your legs super, super straight. 
and hold it. Itch, knee, sun, chi, go, rook, sitch, hatch, ku, ju. Bring your feet together, make a butterfly. Shake out your knees, bring your head down. Itch, knee, sun, chi, rook, sitch, hatch, ku, ju. Everyone crisscross your legs, just shake your head up and down and shake your head side to side. Make a big circle with your head, nice and slow. All right, so from right here, we're just gonna take our hands, we're gonna warm them up a little. We're gonna do some open and shut, just to get our fingertips a little bit warmed up, our hands warmed up, our fingers warm up for those tight fists. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, and squeeze those hands nice and tight, shake them out, push your fingertips together for five, four, three, two, one, shake it out one more time. Just give your whole body a big wiggle. All right, we're gonna come up to our feet. And for the last time, if you are just joining us, this is Upper West Side Kenshikai at home. We are doing a pre, I'm sorry, a kids karate ages five and up. And we are almost there. Bear with me while I adjust the camera to a good height so you can see more of me. All right, that hopefully will be good. Let's give it a shot. Okay. All right. Well, that's not good. Let's try a different one. Ah, there we go. A little bit better. One more adjustment so I'm not super crooked. Meanwhile, you guys keep stretching out, keep moving around. This at-home thing requires a little bit of technical work. All right, we are good to go. Everyone stand straight like me, bow. Okay, so we're gonna stand right in our spot we're going to step into our Sanshin Dachi. So those of you who maybe haven't been with us in a while or don't know what those Japanese words mean, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring my feet together like this. I'm going to circle one foot around. Then I'm going to lock my feet like that with one foot in front of the other. So again, this is what my feet are going to do. When I'm done stepping into that stance, both feet are on the floor, turned a tiny bit in towards each other with one foot in front of the other. So I'm going to step into that stance like this, kamate. Both hands are going to come out like this. Both hands are going to pull back and pull out in front, and one hand is going to flip back and go into my chamber. So that's the hand that is getting ready to punch, and of course the other hand is out in front of my stomach, and I'm just going to slowly switch hands a couple times to start. So this hand's going to come out, this hand's going to pull back, and remember this one flips and this one flips. Just a couple times slow. Let's just get this motion right. Keep going slow. Keep going slow. Just one more, Justin. Keep going. Itch. Still going slow. Knee. Sun. Nice and slow. Chi. And go. All right, we're going fast. We're punching in front of our stomach. Chudan Suki, we call it. Really point that knuckle in front of your belly. So here it is, right? Take those first two knuckles and really stick them nice and straight. Ready? Itch. Knee. Sun, chi, go, rook, sitch, hatch, ku, and ju. All right, we're going to take our hand, we're going to bring it up so it's right in front of our face, right across from your nose. So sometimes with my little guys, we sometimes say punch up, and now we're punching up to the sky, but really traditionally this punch goes right in front of my face. Ready? Itch, ni, sun, chi, go, rook. Sitch, hatch, ku, and ju. Bring your hand down. So again, not super close to your body, but a little bit away, and you're aiming down for the floor, but away from your body. So my hand's going here. It's not going here. So it's a little bit away, but I'm punching down. Ready? Itch, ni, san, chi, go, rook, sitch, hatch, ku, ju. Everyone punch up with one hand, punch middle with the other, punch down with the other. So for those of you who have been with us all this time, you obviously know that's our Sanvan Suki, our up, middle, down. For people who are new or who haven't done karate in a while, take your time. The thing you want to focus on is that one hand and then the other hand. 
and then the other hand, especially my younger guys, sometimes we forget and we do all three hands. I mean, one hand all three times. We don't want to, we want to try to switch. So go up, other hand, middle, other hand, down. hand, knee, up, middle, down. sun, up, middle, down. cheat, go, up, middle, down, look, up, middle, down, sitch, hutch, coo, and ju. Up, middle, down. Very nice. So now we're going to bring both hands out. So I'm doing my double punch. Just a review. Remember, we want to pull our hands back to our chamber and flip them both upside down. And then our hands go out together. And notice my hands are super close, but they're not touching, right? But they're also not out here. So I don't want to hit two different targets with either hand. I want to hit one target with both hands. So I'm going to go right to my up, middle, down. Ready? Itch. Up. Double middle, double down. Knee, one, two, three. Sun, chi, and go up, middle, down. Okay, so now I'm gonna take one hand, either one is fine, and I'm gonna do a face punch like we did before. I'm gonna take my other hand, I'm gonna do a middle punch, but I'm gonna flip it upside down into a middle uppercut. So for more beginner students, for Izzer and Sion and any of my white belts who are joining us, um, you probably have done this before, even Helena, you've probably done it before, but we want, this is our Awasi Suki, so what we wanna do is we wanna pull to our double chamber, and then we wanna switch which one is up and which one is down, and the tricky part is to remember to put this bottom one upside down in an uppercut instead of keeping it like that. So again, we're gonna double chamber, and we're gonna switch, and you're gonna to wanna to keep track in your brain of which hand is on the top. One, switch, and two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so we're gonna put these moves together into a combination. So for my white belts and blue belts, your combination is gonna be up, middle, down, and one Owasi Suki. Either side, doesn't matter. For my higher level students or for my older students like B and Helena, if you want to try, your combination is going to be up, middle, down, and then three Owasi Suki. So you're going to do six moves. Other students, you're going to do four moves. As always, when I give suggestions like, here's something for like younger people, here's something for older people. Hey, Ruby. Here's something for newer people. Here's something. You can pick whichever one you want. The goal is to give yourself a challenge so you're not bored. But don't give yourself such a challenge that you can't do it and you get frustrated. So feel free to start with the easier one and then if you got it, you can add the harder one. That one is fine. So let's start double chamber and we're gonna all go up, middle, down. And we're all gonna do one Owasi Suki and then more advanced students, if you wanna add two more, go ahead. And knee, one, two, three, one. And then if you wanna do two more, go for it. Sun, and notice as I'm doing this combination, I'm trying to switch which hand I start on top with. So if I started with this one, the next time I do it, I wanna start with this one, right? Notice that I switch. So that again is for the older, more advanced students. Go. One, two, three, four, go. One more, key eye on that last strike, go. Key eye, nare, come back to standing straight, shake it out. Okay, so now we're gonna step to the side into our horseback riding stance, our kibidachi. So again, it's hard to keep moving the camera up and down, especially in this space that I'm in today. So what's gonna happen is, here's your feet, right? Right now they're standing like this. You're gonna step to the side Boom. And then you're gonna bend your knees low, right? So that's my horseback riding stance. It's wider, so you'll see if you can see the tops of my knees, which I think you'll be able to. You'll see that my legs are a little bit wider like this, and my knees are bent, and your toes, if you can, are pointing straight. So if this is your feet when we're done, this is what your feet are gonna look like. This is your feet now, boom. This is your feet when we're done. So everyone, yoy. And the way we do this move is we're gonna take our right leg. So this is actually, this is my right leg, but you guys are gonna see it as 
my left, like, because we are mirror image with the camera here, but you're going to try to go to your right, which for you guys would look like you're going that way. And we're going to cross, step out, boom. And now I'm in my horseback riding stance. So again, my feet are like over here. My knees are bent. You can tell because I'm like kind of bouncy. So let's do it one more time. We're going to step out. You guys are going that way. And boom. Now my hands are out. I'm super strong. And I'm in this horseback riding stance, right? That's a super strong stance. So I just want you to feel these big muscles here. These are called your thighs, right? So if we were going to do squats up and down, right? Everyone do a couple squats. Move those legs around. All right. You feel it in those muscles, right? Those are the muscles that are going to hold us in the stance. So now here's the rule. If your legs get tired, here I am with my knees bent. If my legs get tired, I'm allowed to straighten my legs. You can't see them, but you know I straightened my legs because watch, my head was down here, my knees are bent. My head is up here, my legs are straight. What am I not allowed to do? I'm not allowed to come out of my kibidachi and start wiggling around, right? So here we are. We're in our horseback riding stance. My knees are going to stay bent as long as I can, but when I start to feel that burn in my legs, that means my legs are getting a little tired, I'm just going to straighten them out. Then when I'm feeling ready, I'm going to bend them down again. So here we are, horseback riding stance. Bring your hands together, flip them backwards. This is going to be our back fist. Remember, that means this part of our hand is striking, and it's going to come out, and notice when you see it come out, notice how my knuckles flip. So if I were going this way, boom, right? Boom, that little flip is these knuckles, bam. Striking. So remember, our Eurocan strike is a back fist strike. We're using the back of our knuckles instead of the front of our knuckles. And here I am throwing punches at your face. So let's do it again. Here we are. I'm back. You guys should still be in your horseback riding stance. Hands are together. One hand goes out, comes back. This is our Eurocan Shomenichi, our back fist strike going forward. It's right in front of your face. Knee. So. She. Go. Rook, sitch, hutch, coop, ju. All right, 10 more. A little bit faster, a little bit harder. You can add a ki eye if you'd like. Ready, itch, ni, sun, chi, go, rook, sitch, hutch, coop, ju. All right, we're flipping our hands out. So with my little guys, I always say, it's like you have those chicken wings, right? Like you're going to go walk, walk, walk. Our hands are together at the height of our chest, like we're punching ourselves, right? We're going to flip over and strike out. So again, the motion is still that back, that flick. But now I'm going to the side. Every time you go to the side, you should look first and then strike. Next count, you're going to look the other way and strike the other way. Right now, everyone just go like this. Make sure, like I got a, I got a bookshelf here, so I'm going to be a little bit careful. Make sure that you are in a space where you are not going to go bam, oh, and you're rocking some table. So really stretch your arms out. If you're touching something, maybe move yourself a little bit forward and back so you're in a safe space. We're here. We're going to the side. Ready? Itch. Back to the middle when you're done. Knee. Sun. Chi. Go. Rook. Sitch. Hatch. Ku. Ju. A little bit faster, a little bit stronger with ki if you want. Ready? Itch. Ni. Sun. Chi. Go. Rook. Sitch. Hatch. Ku. And ju. Awesome. So now, shake out your hands for a second. Here comes the trickier one. So we're going to take one hand, make a fist that looks like this, right? We're going to take the other hand, we're going to put it on top. So I have a top and a bottom, right? The hand on top is the striking hand. It's striking behind me with that little flick. When I'm done, it's going to go to the bottom. Other hand's going to go behind. Notice I'm looking behind me too. And then it's going to go to the bottom. Don't make a big circle. <laughs> so there's two things that I sometimes see when I'm teaching you guys in the dojo, right? One is this happens. <laughs> so we end up all the way down on the floor. I know that looks super silly and fun, but it's not correct. So we want to stay in the same spot. Same spot, right? The other thing is we're not hitting up, making a rainbow and coming back to the bottom. We're literally just going behind us and back to here, right? Behind us and back to here. So let's do it. One hand on top. We're going to strike itch out and right back to the middle. Make sure your hands are in the same spot. Make sure they didn't get lower. They should be right across from your belly. Knee. Sun, after you strike, go under. Chi. If this is your first time doing this technique or you haven't done it in a while, please take your time. This can, gets a little confusing. And go. Remember, the striking hand is the one on the top. 
Look, when you're done, it goes under. Sitch, hutch, coo, juke. Very good, a little bit faster, a little bit stronger. Ready, itch, neat, sun, chi, go, look, sitch, hutch, coo, juke. Awesome, shake it out. So, here's another one of those opportunities for you guys to make a choice. We're gonna have three different combinations and you can pick the one that feels right for you today. By the way, if you're a yellow belt or you're an older student, but you're feeling a little bit like, eh, I don't want a challenge today. I just showed up for karate. That's fine. So long as you're moving your body, it's okay with me. If you're a brand new white belt and you're only five and you wanna try the hardest one, that's fine too. Remember, our goal is to keep remembering our karate moves, but also to have fun. So you should pick what's right for you today. So. Combination number one is going to be really simple. We're going to go back to here and we're just going to go one, two every time. One, two every time. That's the shortest one, right? Combination number two is going to be four moves. So it's going to be one, two, three, four, right? Again, that number two is going to be one, two, three, four. Combination number three is, of course, all of the moves we did. So it's one, two, set up three, four, stack one on top of the other, five, six. When you're done, you're gonna reset to here. So if you're just doing the first combination, you can stay here. If you're doing number two or number three, when you're done, flip your hands back to here so you're ready to go for the next count. So right now, get it all in your brain. I know it's a lot. All right, let's do it. So we're all starting here. I'm just gonna say go. I'm gonna alternate which one I'm doing, right? So sometimes you're gonna see me do two, sometimes you're gonna see me do four, sometimes you're gonna see me do six. You need to pick the one that's right for you. Try to not copy me unless you really need to because I'm gonna be going all over the place. Ready, go. 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 Last one. Go. Reset. Come back. Nore. Shake it out. Take a little stretch break. So you can stretch any part of your body that feels good. I always like to stretch my neck and my shoulders they get a little tight, but you can stretch your legs. We're gonna come back into some moving around the room. So today, I specifically, on purpose, put myself in a smaller room. That is to illustrate to you guys really how we can do these moves, even if you're in a really small room. So normally when I teach you guys, I'm in my living room today, I'm in my bedroom, which is a smaller room. So I'm gonna really be showing you guys what you can do if you're really in a small space. That being said, we're gonna step in and punch a couple times. So for those of you who have a big enough space, you're gonna back all the way up so you can still see me, but you have enough room to move your body, okay? So we're gonna take our right leg, and again, for me, I'm gonna be using my right leg, but it's gonna make me look backwards so you don't have to copy me exactly so long as you're doing the moves right. We're gonna bring our hand up, we're gonna do our lower block, we're gonna step back, boom. That's our kamate, right? Kamate, hand goes up, leg goes back, Hand goes down, and now right now you should have your left leg in front and your left hand, or your right leg in front and your right hand, it's fine, but you should have the same hand and the same leg in front, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do our Sanban Kumite. If you don't know what all that Japanese means, don't worry about it, I'm gonna walk you through it. Again, I'm gonna, you're gonna see me shuffling my feet to stay in my small space, and I'll tell you what to do if you have a bigger space. For now, everyone's gonna step forward, switch your hands, switch your feet, step in, punch middle. One, boom. So I'm gonna move myself back a little bit so I can stay in the same space. You guys can do the same, or you can stay right where you are. We're gonna do it again on the other side. Two, boom. So I'm gonna do one more step forward, and again, give a little shuffle if you need to make up your space. Now we're gonna punch up. Three, boom. So for newer students, just do your best with this block. It's a little tricky if you've never done it before. Everyone else, we're all gonna take our chamber hand, put it behind our head. Other hand's gonna go across our belly. We're gonna take a backward step. That means my front leg's gonna go to the back. 
and I'm going to block my belly. I'm going to take another backward step. This hand goes behind my head. This hand goes across my belly. Boom. I'm going to take one more backward step, but this time I'm going to block my head. So notice I did the blocks that match those punches when I was going forward. I'm going to open that hand that's up, make like a little claw, right? I'm going to pull to the side, chamber hand punches and pulls back, back leg, roundhouse kick, and step back. So you should finish in the same position where you started. Your left leg is in front, your right leg is in the back. Here we are, right? So we're going to do it again. We're stepping forward, punching stump, one. Stepping forward, punching stump, two. Stepping forward, punching up, three. Boom. So now we're moving backwards. Remember when you move backwards, you don't want to turn around. We're literally moving backwards. So my back is going that way. I'm stepping back, outside block. Again, if that block is new to you, it's fine to just use one hand, but more advanced older students, we want two. Step back, outside block again. Boom. Step back, upper block and hold. Open, pull, punch, back leg, roundhouse. Good. And again, for newer students and for those of you who haven't done karate in a while, I know it's a lot. Don't get frustrated. You're going to do it. You're going to get it. I promise. We're going to do it one more time all together. Step forward, punch, stomach, one. Step forward, punch, stomach, two. Step forward, punch, up, three. Step back, outside block, one. Step back, outside block, two. Step back, upper block, three. Open, pull, punch, back leg, roundhouse kick. Awesome work. So here we are. When I say go, you're on your own. So you're going to step in and punch, step in and punch, step in and punch up, step back and block, step back and block, step back and block up, grab, pull, punch, kick. Oh my God, that's so many things. I'm going to do it nice and slow. If you need to follow me, go right ahead. Everyone else on your own, the whole thing. Go. Back to our commas. Hey, so we're back to where we started. If you got a little confused again, don't worry about it. One of the important things is that we're just moving our body. Everyone, back to where we started with our left leg and our right hand. We're going to do number two. So stay with me. Step forward, punch up. Step forward, punch middle. So now my back leg is going to kick, front snap kick, and it's going to come down in the front. I'm going to pause for a second, and now I'm going to nare. So here's where it gets a little tricky. I'm standing straight now. My feet are in this position. Find your left leg. Left leg. So if your moms or dads are in the room for little guys, or your big sisters, like Izzer, you can help Sion. Make sure he knows which is his left leg. Our left leg steps back and our right hand blocks up. So you, I look opposite, right? You guys should make sure you have your left leg back and your right hand blocks up. Step back again. Go under and out. This is our inside block, right? We're going to step back one more time and we're going to push down. So my right hand is pushing down. This is my shote block. I'm pushing down with an open hand. I'm going to close that hand. I'm going to do a back fist like we did before. Don't switch your feet. Just take your front leg. Bring it more forward. Elbow this way. So here I am. I'm doing my elbow strike, right? I'm going to go all the way back. Kamate. So I'm back where I started. My left leg is in front. My right leg is in back. Step forward, punch up. Step forward, punch middle. Back leg, front snap kick. Put it down in the front. Nare. Remember, nare means we're coming back to standing straight. Find that left leg again. Again, little guys, if you have a trick, feel free to share it with all of us so we know. I know there's some tricks for figuring out which is your right and your left leg. Feel free to, to let us know, to type it in there so little guys who are getting confused can figure it out. Left leg back, right upper block. Step back, inside block. This is my inside block, right? Step back, open hand block, push down. Close that fist, back fist strike. Slide into your horseback riding stance, elbow. So I'm pushing my elbow sideways. This move looks like this, right? One more time, kamate. So if you got it, that's number two. Do it on your own. Everyone else, feel free to keep following me. I'm gonna go nice and slow, all by yourself, the whole thing. Finish with that strong elbow and go.
Hiyai. Kamate. Come all the way back. We're going to do number three. For newer students, I'm going to ask you guys to just have as much fun with this as you can. Number three is a little bit tricky, right? So if you've never done it before, just go with it. If you don't get it perfect, it's okay. You know, one of the things that's really nice about this form of karate, you're doing it in your house, um, you can then practice it again later because you're still in your house. So sometimes we get a little stuck. We're like, oh, well, you know, I can really only do my karate when I go to karate class. And my karate class is in the dojo. And the dojo is only open on Mondays. And, Tuesdays. and we're like, okay, that's the day I do karate. Now, every day could be the day you do karate because your dojo is right here. It's in your house. So if you don't get it right now, don't worry about it. Work on it again next time. But everyone, kamate, one more time. My left leg is in front. My right leg is in back. I'm doing Samba Kumite number three. So I'm going to start with that front snap kick and put it in the front. So I should have, you guys should have your right leg in front right now. I'm going to step all the way forward and do a face punch. So I should have my left in front right now. Back leg is going to throw a roundhouse kick. Just like before, we're putting it down in the front and then we're gnarring. So we're standing straight again. And once again, find that left leg. There it is, right? Step it back, but this time we're going to push down just like we did at the end of number two. Step all the way back in upper block, that's blocking that face punch. Step all the way back and you're gonna cross your hands like this. So if you can't see, I'm making an X by my head, right? So here's where it gets a little tricky. My left hand's gonna stay where it is and my right hand's gonna knife hand. So I'm doing this, bam. I'm not gonna step, I'm just gonna lean forward a little and throw a hook punch, just like that. And then I'm gonna commentate back to where I was. <laughs> Oh, they, I'm glad, Isra and Cyan, that you're figuring it out. Yeah, it's tricky when there's two and you're in a small space. I'm going to help you guys out a little bit, okay? So watch me. So we're back to our kamate. So those of you that are in a small space, here's how it's going to go. Everyone else, feel free to just step forward. Isra and Cyan, and anyone else who's a little tight for space, here's what we're going to do. Right in your space, right where you are, I want you to just take your back leg and throw a front kick. Boom. Put it in the front and switch right back so you should still be in the same spot. Everyone else feel free to keep yourself going forward. So now people again that are in a small space, don't step forward. I just want you to switch your feet and punch up, right? So there we are, we're still in our same spot. Notice I didn't get any closer to you. Now I'm just gonna take my back leg and throw a roundhouse kick and put it down and come right back. So I'm still in that same little spot where I was in, right? Here I am, I'm gonna find my left leg step back and block and now i'm just going to switch my feet again switch switch upper block so i didn't really move anywhere switch my feet again switch switch make that x strike and punch right so back to my kamate we're going to do it one more time i'll do it in the little space version if you have room to step in remember it's front kick face punch roundhouse kick Again, if at any point you're like, whoa, I just started karate a week ago. I can't remember any of this. Just do your best. If you get two moves right, that's awesome. If you get three moves right, that's awesome, right? When we do these classes, unfortunately, since I can't see you guys, I'm trying to give things that would fit like all different levels. Again, the number one goal is to have fun and don't get frustrated. So here I am. I'm in my kamate. I'm doing number three last time, starting with my front kick. Go ahead by yourself. And Nore, come back. So just for all of us at home to be really clear, we have some terminology. Terminology is words that we really want to be clear when we're doing these moves, right? So everyone step back, boom. That's our kamate. So even if you're in your house, you can say kamate. That means move into your position, right? So we can have kamate in a bunch of different ways. So this is our kamate for a samba kumite. This is my kamate into fighting stance, right? This is my kamate into my kibodachi. So kamate basically just means go. <laughs> go into that position that we just told you to do, right? So if we just said step back into a fighting stance and then we said kamate, boom, you're moving into that position. The other word that you just heard me say a lot is nare. Nare, you guess it is kind of the opposite of kamate. Nare means come back 
to this statue, this ready stance that we often do our moves from, right? So again, everyone step back into a fighting stance, and now nare. Now, for more advanced students, Ruby, I'm talking to you. The nare is different depending on what stance you're in. So let's do that all together. More basic guys, just have fun with it. But more advanced and older students, you actually are going to need to know this. Everyone step back with either leg into that big, long zenkutsudachi, right? That big, long stance. So you should be leaning onto your front knee. So I can't really show you my legs right now, but you'll notice, boom, I'm leaning right onto my front knee. So if we're in this stance, everyone tap your back leg. Nare by stepping forward with your back leg. And if you notice, this leg moved and this hand came in front. Again, a more advanced detail. So again, back in that kamate, leaning onto that front leg, my front leaning stance, my zenkutsudachi, back leg comes forward. Boom. So now, I want you guys to step back and do a fighting stance. Go ahead, kamate. So now, you'll, if you're doing it right, more of your weight should be on your back leg. When we nare from this fighting stance, our front foot pulls back. Again, step back into fighting stance, kamate. Tap your front leg, pull it back, nare. Right, so those are some more advanced details for some more advanced students. <laughs> Thank you, Izzar. So, that's just a little detail. So, for my younger guys, I know sometimes you're like, oh my God, well she, why do I need to know all these little details? The little details are actually what make your karate get really, really great. But in the beginning, there's so many of them that we can't really remember all of them. We can't really work on all of them. So I throw a lot of them out at you. And I hope some of them stick. So if I throw out this detail and this detail and this detail and all you remember is she said tight chamber, that's a good start, right? What happens is we start building on them, right? So I often say in my class at the dojo that I want you guys to imagine your karate is like a big box, right? It's like a toolbox. So what do you have in the toolbox? You have your hammer, you have your screwdriver, you have your nails, you have your, I don't know, right now all of you are probably shouting things out, that wrench, that screwdriver, that, okay. So you have your box full of tools, right? So now we're going to take all those out, but we're going to make it our karate box, right? So we have our punches, we have our kicks, we have our blocks, we have our stances, we have our katas, and oh my God, the box is getting more and more and more full, and now it's all full of our karate moves. But we want the box to be full, right? So we don't want to go, okay, here's the punches, and then we take the kicks and we throw them away. And now here's the kicks, and now we take the punches and we throw them away. Our toolbox is really big, so we can fit everything inside. So every time you learn a new detail, I want you to imagine that you unlock your brain, put the detail inside, and then you lock it up again. And it's in there for next time, right? So with all that in mind, everyone shake it out. So we are going to do some of our kicks today, but today we're going to do them standing in our spot. Again, to help out some of you guys who have really small spaces. So what I want you to do right now is I want you to imagine that the spot you're in is a little box. And the little box is about this big, right? So here's one foot, here's the other foot. I'm in my box. So your goal is to keep all of your kicks inside this little box. So we're gonna start with our straight kick. So our straight high kick, our my kiyage, we're gonna kick up and back. If you wanna keep your hands up, you can. If you wanna keep them down by your side, you can. This kick is just a stretch kick. Right, so you want to start nice and slow and gentle, and as you start to feel like your legs are warmed up, you can kick a little higher. Ready? Itch. Knee. Sun. Chi. Go. Rook. Sitch. Hutch. Ku. Ju. All right, here I am. I'm inside my little box still, right? Make sure you still are. Hands are up. I'm gonna kick, front snap kick, step right back. So I want you to imagine if there were footprints, right? Let's say I painted your feet and boom, boom. There's the two footprints. Every time you kick, your foot's gonna go right back into the footprint, right? So that's how we stay in our little box. So our hands are up and itch, right back into the footprint. Knee, sun, right back into the footprint. She, go, rook, sitch, Hatch, ku, and ju. All right, I'm still in my little box. My hands are gonna go up. I'm doing my knee kick, my hizagiri. Knee goes up, hands go down, and again, right back into that footprint. One thing that I talked about in my morning class this morning that's really, really important is sometimes we get a little lazy with our hands and we just kind of leave them here. 
right? And that's fine. It's not wrong. But it's better to have this full reach up and this full grab. So what we're imagining is we're pulling, right? So if I were actually doing this, right, you could imagine that I'm grabbing and I'm pulling my knee in. Maybe I'm breaking a board over my knee. So we really want to get that pull. So hands are up and itch, pull, and back up. So our hands and our feet move together. Knee, sun, chi, go, rook, sitch, hutch, ku, and ju, kiai. All right, shake it out. So I want you guys to pick a kick right now that you really want to do today. There's our hook kick, crescent kicks, we have back kicks, we have spin kicks, we have roundhouse kicks, we have side kicks. Make sure that you're safe, right? So where I am right now, I can't pick side kick. Bam, I'm gonna kick my bookshelf, so I wouldn't pick that one, right? I can't pick spin kick in the room I'm in right now either because, ugh, oh, that's gonna be crazy dangerous. So it's on you guys, right? Look around your space. Maybe shake your legs out a little bit gently. Figure out what space you're in and then pick a kick that you really want to do. It can be one of the kicks we just did or it can be one of those other kicks I mentioned. It can be your favorite kick. You can do a jumping kick. You can make up a kick. I can't see you, so it doesn't matter. So long as you're moving your body and you're doing some kicks. I'm going to do roundhouse kick. You're welcome to do it with me. Again, try to stay in your space. It's okay if you fall out of your box a little, particularly if you're doing something like a spin kick. Everyone, hands up, whatever kick you want, nice and strong. It's the last one of the day, so let's finish super strong. Ready, itch, knee, sun, chi, go, rook, sitch, hutch, ku, big ki ai, ju, ki ai. Awesome, everyone, shake it out. We're gonna finish our class down on the floor again. So here I am, back down on my floor. I'm gonna do a little butterfly stretch here. Wait for you guys to come down on the floor too. Take a few deep breaths. <sighs> All right, let's sit on our knees. Again, if sitting on your knees hurts, you can always sit crisscross your legs. The important thing is that we're sitting still our hands are going to go on our waist. Everyone, close your eyes. Makso. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Once again, deep breath in. Deep breath out. Awesome work, Makso Yame. Bow. Us. Great job, guys. Thank you so much for joining us for our kids' karate class today. We're actually going to be doing another class in just 15 minutes, which is an advanced karate class. So it's going to be for older kids and for students that are yellow belt and up. So those of you who are a little older or Ruby, if you want to try another class, go drink some water, maybe have a snack, come back and join us in 15 minutes. Um, that class is also going to be for grown-ups. Um, by the way, any parents in the room? It's an advanced class. However, you are welcome to join us if you aren't already joining us with your kids. Um, so feel free to give it a shot. I'm going to give doing some advanced combinations, but I'll throw some more basic stuff out there too. In the meantime, great job, everyone. Until I see you next time, please keep moving, keep breathing, keep smiling. I'll see you soon.